everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Ariel and I am the owner of Ari Vea Sticker Shop. Today, as promised and as requested, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite pens, markers, highlighters, etc. All the things that I love using in my Hobonichis. You guys know I am not one to gatekeep all of my favorite pens. You probably already have seen me use it a lot on this channel, if not on my Instagram. So today I'm going to be rounding up all of my favorite pens. I'm not going to do like a top 10 or whatever, and there's not a specific order of these things. Um, I'm just going to share with you literally everything that I love. Um, so why don't we get started? I'm going to swatch them here in my Hobonichi Cousin. Um, I just flipped um, to an empty page on a weekend so I can start swatching some things. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom in first. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a ton of swatches along the side here and um, then you guys can see everything in comparison that I love using. So um, I'm sure it's not a surprise to anyone that one of my favorite pens or ballpoint pens to use in my Hobonichi is the Uni Jetstream. I mean, Hobonichi has been giving out that free tri-color pen um, in collaboration with Uni Jetstream every single year uh, for the past how many years so it seriously is no joke this pen is really good on the Tomoe River paper um, and I hope they continue to release these every single year I'm kind of excited to see what they're gonna release on September uh, of course there might be some new um, Tomoe River paper this year because of uh, manufacturing changes I know this topic has been a little bit stressful for some because I know we all really love this paper. However, I don't think that Hobonichi is going to choose a bad paper to continue using their um, using in their planners. So I'm just going to quickly write in here. Oh, I should probably probably should have written a title and I guess I'll just do that with one of these. Okay, so I wrote a little title, and of course I'm going to write the Uni Jet Stream underneath. Um, my favorite point is the 0 0.5. I know a lot of people also really like the 0 0.7. If you have bigger handwriting, I recommend 0 0.7, uh, but if you like writing small, then the uh, 0.5 is perfect. Especially if you want to write within the lines of the um, Hobonichi grid. So picking out two more pens here from my pen pouch here. I know you guys also know that I really love this Uniball Signal. So this pen writes like a dream on the Hobonichi paper. I feel like it dries really quickly as well. Um, personally, I really like this in the 0.38 tip. I feel like it dries a lot faster than the other one. So you can definitely see the difference here whether or not I'm using the um, gel or the ballpoint pen. I really like this pen because it is a like darker black whereas the other one is just a little bit lighter because it's a ballpoint pen. Now if you are needing something really 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 dark I definitely recommend something like this which is a Sakura micro perm pen. I also really like their other um, what's their other ones? just their fine point pens I believe in the like brownish barrel. I really like those uh, but if you need something like a permanent marker I definitely recommend the micro perms. I like the 01 which I will show you in comparison right now. So that is what it looks like here on the Hobonichi paper. I'll quickly show you the back to show that you get um, minimal ghosting. Of course, if you hold the tip on the paper, then it might go through. However, I really like using this marker on like vellum sticky notes or transparent sticky notes, things that you need a permanent marker for. If you're writing on certain stickers, for example, and you need something permanent, not like a gel pen that will smudge, this is definitely the one to go for. Um, if you're like me, I like ordering um, vellum sticky notes from rose color days and these work really good on it i think the size is also really nice i have a few i bought like a pack of different sizes but this one is my all-time fave let me just check my other pen case to see if there are any other ones that i want to show off this one's also quite nice these are the zebra sarasa clips this one is a vintage color i think it's the brown one um, i do also really like these this one's in 0.5 Sometimes these do tend to um, smudge on me a little bit, 
uh, if I use them in my journal when I'm writing quite quickly. But sometimes I just really like the color and want to use it in specific spreads, so that's why I like using these. So those are all of the pens that I wanted to share with you guys. And, oh, I do have another... <laughs> I do have another Sarasa pen in here, but I don't think it is as good on the Tomoe River paper. Uh, it is a very nice pen. This is the Sarasa R, but sometimes I do find it smudges as well. So now I guess I can move on to more marker things. So these right now are some of my all-time favorite markers. As you guys know, I love a good mild liner. I have the whole... Um, Oh, I can't remember the set name already, but I have this whole set here on the front uh, because I really like it. I used it to write the title there. Let me just use this. Oh, let me use the gray one. Mild liner. I really like this color as well, which is the green. Sometimes I find that this peach, however, is a little light for what I need. Uh, when I'm writing titles and stuff like that. But of course I do know that it is a highlighter, so um, if I ever need to highlight something and I need it really light, I'll definitely use this one. Let me swatch the pink one as well, because I also really like this color. I'll link these, um, I'll link these down below in my description box, by the way, in case you want to find it. Um, so these are my favorite brush pens. I've shared them for years, literally. These are the Pentel Fudunosuke brush pens. I have these in literally 10 million and one colors, but my favorite is this gray, which I've repurchased quite a few times, and this brown. I think I have all of the new colors as well. I don't think I swatched them all yet. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later, but these are my top two because they literally go with everything. The reason why I really like these brush pens is because the tip is actually quite thin, so you'll be able to write smaller titles. That's why I like using them in my A6. I've been using this gray one in my A6 for at least three or four years now, um, and I just started using this for maybe the last two. Um, this size is also really good in the weeks if you're putting in titles or anything like that. Um, and of course, you can also use it in the Hobonichi Cousin, like I tend to do. The other brush pen that I like using currently are these Sailor Shikori pens. Um, I believe that some of these colors match some of their fountain pen inks. Um, I really, really adore this purpley color. It is literally my favorite brush pen from this set. Um, the brush tip is a little bit larger, but it's still a lot smaller than the regular Tombow brush pens, which I think are a bit too large for my handwriting. So let me just write it. So that is what the gorgeous purpley color looks like from Sailor Shikori. And the good thing about this, by the way, like the mild liners, is that it comes with a small little um, double end here. So I think it's so cute. So I'm just going to write in the bottom here. As you can see, it is very fine though, so if you need to do something really big, then I suggest just using the brush tip with a light hand. Um, but I also really like using some of these other ones. This one's a green one that I'm currently liking. And I have some of the other colors here. So this one is like a dark green, a light pink, and then more of like a bluey color. I thought I would like this pink a lot more, but actually, I like that purple one. Oh, I have here a few more of the um, Pentel brush pens. These are some other really nice colors, some blues. Those are my favorite brush pens. So let me just move up this a little bit so you can see more of the bottom of the page. Now I can move on to some of my favorite fountain pens. I have been recently obsessed with Coveco fountain pens, specifically the Sport. So this is my small collection at the moment. Uh, I have all three of these inked right now, or actually this one's running out. So I currently have this one inked up with a Coveco cartridge, which is the brown one. 
and I've been using this a lot recently. This one is such a gorgeous pen. I'm really happy that I ended up purchasing this. Um, recently I've been using just the regular Caveco cartridge in the royal blue. It's literally my favorite right now. I think it is dried up because I've been using it so much. Yeah, I can't even write with it anymore. But uh, I can show you what it looks like in some of my previous spreads here. Another page. So this is what the Caveco Royal Blue looks like. I love it. It's literally the perfect everyday. And because it's a cartridge, I don't really have to worry about it, uh, like, leaking or anything like that. So um, I currently have some of these in my cart at Wonder Pens and Find and Pens, so I just need to make that order soon. Um, but right now I am enjoying this brown cartridge as well. Oh wait, let me, I almost forgot to write it in here, so this is coming cool. Oh, So those are the two Caveco inks that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Uh, and then I have this other sport filled with a Twisby ink. I think it's just the, I think it's violet or just purple or something like that. Uh, this one's also really nice. It's a very deep purple. I'm currently using this one actually in my Stalogy, uh, my B6 Stalogy, and it dries relatively quickly. The color is also very rich as well, so um, you don't really have a problem seeing it. Sometimes I find if the inks are a little bit too light, then it's hard for me to see. So those are the three Covecos that I currently have inked. Let me see. I also have this Eco inked, but I don't have my Diamond 580 at the moment. My Diamond 580 currently isn't inked. I just um, cleaned that and I'm waiting to, again, like I said, make a Wonder Pens order so I can get my cartridges for this one uh, and another ink for my Diamond 580. Uh, but I do have my Eco here inked up with a diamond ink. This is in Earl Grey. In the past, I have put this Earl Grey in a uh, like stub nib. However, I think I actually like it in a fine nib. I think this looks a lot better. This Earl Grey is a very nice color because it isn't a complete black. Um, however, it is dark enough to be able to use every single day. So this was the very first fountain pen that I purchased and um, you might have watched some of my past videos about it. This is a Platinum Plazier. Uh, it's in the ice white color, which technically is a silver. Um, but I just have a black cartridge in here because it is just so useful. So I didn't get a really good swatch here because my ink cartridge is actually out, so I'm going to have to go change that, but I was going to say that having just a regular black ink is just so important, and I really like using them in platinum pens because they have the slip and seal technology in it, so I know that I don't need to be using this pen every single day, but it'll be ready for whenever I need to use it. Um, I also have this one, which is also a platinum pen. Uh, this is a Shooting Star, which is a China exclusive. Of course, I did get the My Melody. Uh, collaboration with it so uh, it is gorgeous and sparkly and pink. These pens have interchangeable parts and the nibs are the exact same so it depends on really what aesthetic that you like but I always have one of these inked up with some black ink uh, in case I want to just write in regular black. I also have um, converters in here in case I want to use them but these are really good and um, I think the quality is great for students or people that are just beginning with fountain pens. Okay, so I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. These are literally all of my favorite pens and markers that I am enjoying using in my Hobonichi planner. Um, all of these pens work really well in here and as you can see there is little to no um, ghosting. Just on that micro perm there you can see a little bit of ghosting especially like the markers and the highlighters you don't even see them at all so i hope you enjoyed watching me swatch some of my favorite pens and fountain pens um, in my hobonichi i know you guys have been requesting this video for quite some time so here it is i hope you enjoyed seeing all of the cute things that i have collected over the past years and some of my thoughts that i have on them if you have any other questions please do let me know I think I can leave it off here now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.